Hello, I wanna show you how to identify who which clauses. In order to do that, I'm gonna open up one of my Google Docs that I have here. Uh, let's see, here it is. All right, I have several sentences here. Um, first, let me show you what it looks like without the who which clause. So let me just get rid of this. Actually, let me pick up this comma too. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the who which clause. It says, my friend is coming to dinner tonight. If we wanted to know a little bit more about my friend, I could put this who which clause in that says my friend, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm, let's see. There we go. My friend who is an excellent chef is coming to dinner tonight. So I'm just telling a little bit more about my friend. All I have to do since I'm talking about a person, I use the word who, and I give just a bit more information. It's good to remember that if you completely get rid of the who, which clause, the sentence has to still make sense. My friend is coming to dinner tonight. All right, so I'm gonna add that back in. If I can press the right buttons. Uh, let's look at this one. All right, this says the Eiffel Tower is a famous landmark. If I wanted to add in a bit of extra information about the Eiffel Tower, I could say the Eiffel Tower, which is located in Paris, is a famous landmark. I've just used the word which. I'm not talking about a person now, so I'm gonna use the word which instead. Um, I just used the word which and gave a little bit more information, okay? Uh, let's look at this one. I'm trying to pick up these commas when I do this. When we get rid of the who, which clause, notice that the sentence makes sense. Our dog is very playful, all right? I'm gonna add the who, which clause back in now. If I wanted to give a little bit more information about the dog, our dog, which we adopted last year, is very playful. All I had to do was use the word which because I'm talking about an animal. If it's a very close pet, you can use the word who, especially if you use the dog's name like um, Fido, who we adopted last year is very playful. If he's a very close friend of yours, you can use the word who. Um, another time you can use the word who for animals is if you're telling like an Aesop's fable or a story where the animals talk or where the animals behave like human beings, like the tortoise and the hare, um, then you can say who, you know, Mr. Tortoise, who was very slow, decided to raise Mr. Hare. Okay, then you could use the word who because they're behaving like animals. But normally when you talk about animals or any kind of object, you use the word which. Um, places you would also use. So you know how we do people, places, and things for nouns. Um, places and things, you would usually use the word which, and people, you would use the word the word who. Let's look at this one. Let's get rid of the who, which clause first, and we'll see if it makes sense. Oh, I keep doing that. I'm not even sure what I did. Hmm. That's not what I wanted to do. Huh. I'm not sure what I did, but... Let's see here. Which one am I doing? Okay, Jane's new car. And let's just talk about the car at first. I gotta remember to hit the right button. Jane's new car is parked in the driveway. Okay, let's say a little bit more about her new car. What can we say? Um, this says, which is red and shiny. We wouldn't have to say that it's red and shiny. We could say Jane's new car, which she bought yesterday, is parked in the driveway or Jane's new car, which she saved up for, is parked in the driveway. There's a lot of different kinds of information we can add. Um, when you're writing your own who, which clauses, you can add the information that you want to add. Um, but the point here is just to be able to identify them. You can find the word who or which, and you can tell what is the extra bit that's being added. It goes all the way to the word chef. If we took this out, we'd have a good sentence. So we know this is our who, which clause right here. Who, who, what, who is an excellent chef? Which, what, which is located in Paris, okay? Um, the first four of these have commas before and after the who, which clause, but you won't always have that. Sometimes you'll have, mm, I don't know, it might be a little bit too early to get into talking about essential and non-essential who, which clauses, but just know for now that sometimes you'll have commas and sometimes you won't. The girl, is my cousin. Which girl? The girl who won the contest is my cousin. The reason this one doesn't have com commas is because we don't know which girl you're talking about unless you say the girl who won the contest. Now we know which girl you're talking about. Because if you just say the girl is my cousin, it could be any girl in the world. Um, 
This one says the car was very expensive. Which car was very expensive? The car which he bought last week. So here's your who, which clause. Um, the movie was incredible. Which movie was incredible? The movie which we watched last night. And then the teacher is Mrs. Ms. Smith. Which teacher is Ms. Smith? The teacher who teaches math. So that's just how to identify your who, which clauses. All right, so they're going to all begin with the word who or which, at least for now. And um, you should be able to remove the who, which clause out of the sentence and the sentence should still make perfect sense. Okay, so that'll help you identify them. All righty, sorry, I'm so bad with technology. <laughs> you guys will get used to me after a little while. All right, bye-bye.